Veya has always felt shackled by the rules of House Redoran, hobbled by the many duties and obligations it presses upon its subjects. After the situation involving her brother, she decided she wanted nothing more to do with the house, or with me. That may be an oversimplification, but I suppose your statement is accurate. I walk a narrow path between House Counselor and Loving Father. Unfortunately, the former often supersedes the latter. That's why I want to speak to Veya again. My husband has more faith than I do. I fear that despite your best efforts, Veya will refuse to meet with him, let alone return home. Still, I appreciate your work on our behalf. You agreed to work for my husband, Councillor Eris of House Redoran. We want you to find our daughter, Veya, and make sure she returns home. During your first excursion, you discovered that Veya had joined Naru Virian and the Morag Tong. A cult of sanctioned murderers for hire. They serve a purpose, but I have no use for them. Naru said she wouldn't allow a meeting unless Eris dismissed his hired help. All but you, that is. I just want Veya to come home. I miss my daughter. Well, look at that. Now you said I'd find you here, and damn it all if she wasn't right. Did I mention how much I hate being a messenger? Makes me wish I had a writ so I could kill something. Anyway, now you wants to talk to you. Said you'd know what it was all about. Here. This should explain everything, sort of. It's a map. We change locations every other day for security reasons. Just in case it falls into the hands of House Redoran or someone else with an axe to grind with our organization. Never had to use a map before. <laughs> Amateurs. This one leads to a key to one of our safe houses and another map. The first map? It depicts a particular town. Kind of like this one. Hint, hint. The rest? Well, you'll have to figure that out on your own. Look. I know you're helping Councillor Eris, but if that map falls into House Redoran hands, I'll probably have to kill you. Nothing personal, mind you. We're already having a bit of trouble with the house, and we'd rather not make matters worse. What are you implying? Can't a person do something nice to help out an ally every now and again? Oh, who am I kidding? I hate playing the messenger. Haven't you ever done something you hate because it was the right thing to do? Well, not all of us can afford to be so cold and heartless. I'd say I envy you, but that would just reward you for bad behavior. Why are you still talking to me? Don't you have a map to puzzle out? Well, look at you. You're a practical genius. Look, now you seems to trust you, so I suppose I have to trust you too. But that's a powerful secret you've been given. Betray us, and you'll find my blade in your back. Unless Nayu kills you first. The Morag Tong has the authority to accept and carry out writs of execution. We keep the great houses from engaging in all-out war, but they rarely appreciate the work we do on their behalf. House Redoran in particular wants to shut us down. Ugh, the other houses have used us to take Redoran down a peg or two of late. To be frank, for all their vaunted honor, the house cries foul whenever someone gets the better of them. Our status is tenuous enough without Redoran's constant harassment. As I understand it, the Morag Tong made mistakes in the past, grew too arrogant. We had to lay low for more than a century. Now, we're taking select contracts, working to re-establish our reputation. It's not our fault most of them concern Redoran. Sorry about all the subterfuge, but we can't be too careful when it comes to security around here. 
Don't be so eager, my darling. It reveals too much about your ultimate intentions. But yes, Vea would very much like to meet with you. You intrigue her, and your connection to her father could prove beneficial once she knows she can trust you. Ready in records. House officials keep track of everything. Incidents, commendations, births and deaths. Whether important or mundane, they detail it all in their registry. Bea believes the registry contains information about her brother, Ulron. Don't sound so offended. You had to know your hands were going to get dirty eventually. You are dealing with assassins and politicians, after all. The local keeper of records, Lord Drono, is away. So security at his townhouse should be light. Are you stupid, or just hard of hearing? Still alive, I see. And since you're here, that means you weren't captured and hauled off to a Redoran dungeon. Good for you. Were you able to acquire the registry? And does it contain any information about Bea's brother, Ulron? Ulron was exiled? That can't be right. He's an exemplary officer and a good man. Plus, he's the son of a counselor. Why in oblivion would House Redoran banish one of their brightest stars? I can see that. There has to be more to the story, but I'm not sure how we get it. Still, you proved you could be trusted, and you admirably performed this task. So I suppose I should let you meet with Vea now. There's an abandoned cave along the coast. It's in the swamp and smells like rot, which makes it the perfect place to hide. Vea's supposed to wait inside, but she's bored. I know she's been sneaking out. You'll find her in the cave, or just outside. Get to the swamp and find Vea. She's eager for any information about her brother, so she's really going to appreciate getting that registry. Just try not to be too charming when you meet her hero. She has enough distractions as it is. Vea would face too many temptations here in Balmora. Friends, favorite places, familiar sights and sounds, not to mention the proximity to all things House Redren. Even the most thick-headed house guard would eventually stumble over her. Oh, don't thank me, hero. As long as you're useful and don't betray us, then we're engaged in a mutually beneficial arrangement. Cross us in any way, however, and you'll never see my blade before it plunges into your heart. Well enough. Ulran and Vea used to sneak out to watch me train. I have a way with blades that fascinated them to no end. Eventually, our fondness developed between the three of us. And to think, I never even had a nick sound growing up. It's not like personal relationships are against the rules, though I suppose they are sort of frowned upon. Anyway, my assignments always brought me back to Vardenfell, so we were able to keep in touch and visit even as they grew older. Anything's possible. But the Ulran I know holds honor above all else. I can't believe he'd do something so dishonorable that the house leaders would demand his exile. We need to find out more about what happened. Vea's young, bored, and stubborn. That makes for a volatile combination. She wants fresh air and freedom. I can't blame her for that. I can blame her for assuming I'm not aware of her little excursions. I thought I trained her better than that. Danger's a relative term, especially when you're dealing with relatives. Vea can make her own decisions. If she wants to risk getting caught by House Redren, that's on her head, especially since she knows they've been searching that area. Now you go too easy on Vea. When my master trained me, her word was law, and the only acceptable response on my part was, as you command. But what do I know? They is not my apprentice. And you're sure it's Vea? House Redoran isn't emptying its coffers so you can chase your own tails out here. You pay the War Claws well, because the War Claws are the best there is. We have the kitten scent. It's just a matter of time before my warriors catch her. Of course, Ferrara. Just make sure she doesn't get out of the swamp. 
I'll take my soldiers and guard the Eastern Paths, in case she eludes your warriors again. Ah, the Counselor's Lackey. I understand you've made significant progress in your search for Vea. As a matter of fact, so have we. This whole ordeal will be over soon, and then you can be on your way, Outlander. My mercenaries have spotted Vea skulking about the northern portion of the swamp. Between my soldiers and Fair Harau's war claws, the Counselor's daughter will soon be home safe and sound. Vea's brother. <laughs> it's a sad story. Killed one of his own soldiers to protect an Ashlander, of all things. I think they were being too lenient when they simply exiled him. But that's how they treat the privileged few. Ulran always had an unnatural attraction to the Ashlanders and their savage ways. He felt that an Ashlander life was worth more than a Redoran life. The Council didn't agree with his assessment. This will all be over as soon as Ferhara finds Vea. Khajiit mercenaries of the highest order. For members of a lesser race, Ferhara's warriors are surprisingly effective. I employ them to bolster our forces, between obligations to the Pact and other matters. House Redoran is spread thin of late. As you say, Ferhara's war claws take their contract as seriously as you do, however. Get in their way, and I can't guarantee your safety. Ferhara assumes the Counselor's minions will not present a problem for the War Claws. Yes, Captain? The Outlanders have been warned, Ferhara. I leave everything else to your discretion. Stupid War Claws. Now I know how a mouse feels. By the three, you really shouldn't sneak up on a person like that. If you're working with those mercenaries, I assure you, you won't take me without a fight. Oh, right. Nari, you mentioned something about that. Look, I can't wait to hear what you learned, but the swamp is crawling with mercenaries. There's a cave to the northeast. We can talk there. Unfortunately, there's a mob of those beast people between here and the cave. I was going to try and sneak past them. But every time I get too close, I think one of them catches my scent. You're going to tackle that mob of fur and claws? I'm impressed. Meet me at the cave when you're finished. I think we have a lot to talk about. Oh, and um, try not to get killed. I really want to know what you came all this way to tell me. Meet me in the cave to the north when you finish with the mercenaries. It's here. before more of them show up. What do you think of my luxurious accommodations? It's got dirt and rock, fungus and a poultry fire, all the comforts of home. Anyway, you said you had information about my brother, Oran. What did you find out? No, that can't be right. Oran's honorable and noble. He's a model soldier. What could he have possibly done to warrant being banished? What? My brother has always been interested in the Ashlanders, even showed them a kindness the rest of the house doesn't approve of. But for him to kill someone, especially one of his own soldiers, something terrible must have happened. I know the tribe that Oran liked to help, brought them supplies and such. He'd go and visit their camp whenever our father wasn't paying attention. Will you go with me to talk to them? Wait, someone's coming. She can handle herself just fine, hero. Vea, grab your things. It's time to go. Go? Why? What's going on? The War Claws are marching toward this cave along with half the House Redwin soldiers and Balmora. We need to go now. Damn it. They must have followed us. I'll get my stuff. Ah. Uh. Dealing with an arrogant, impatient, overconfident young woman. Now I know how my mother must have felt. 
We need to move. It won't take those damn cats long to find this place, not with their sense of smell. The back tunnels. Better than heading out the front door and right into the main contingent of Redoran troops. Councillor Eris brought additional soldiers from town. He's intent on getting his daughter, and he may have the numbers to do it. One more thing. The back tunnels wind their way through territory that House Redoran recently acquired. We may run into some resistance, but it shouldn't be as bad as what's waiting outside the front of the cave. Does the ceiling look unstable to you? Search everywhere. Captain Brivin thinks the Counselor's kitten might try to escape through these tunnels. Damn! Those cat bastards are harder to shape than a blind date. I can't get captured and taken back to my father. Not when I'm this close to finding my brother. be the way out. I just hope there aren't any red ends up there. Oh no, we're surrounded. And that's my father. What's he doing here? Sweep the caves. If you spot Vea, report back to me. She's not to be harmed. I prefer that you don't harm the agents I hired either. There is no need for bloodshed. Father ruins everything. I'm so close to finding my brother and he shows up to drag me back home. Well, I'm not going back without a fight. You, you do that for me. Thanks, I guess. But what can you possibly do against all those soldiers? My father brought the whole damn army with him this time. Clever. Tell my father whatever he wants to hear. That might actually work. Afterward, meet me at the Ashlander camp to the south. My brother would often visit that particular tribe. It's as good a place as any to start. Once I find Oran and make sure he's all right, I'll meet with my father. But that meeting will be on my terms, not his. And tell him to call off his soldiers, or I might change my mind. That should buy us some time. Halt! Who goes there? Stand down. These outlanders work for me. The captain reported that he had seen you in the area. There are also multiple reports that Vea has been spotted. Tell me, have you seen my daughter? I won't sleep well until she's home, safe and... I also said that the captain has his own resources. The war claws report to Briven, not me. Look. We're all just trying to get my daughter home safely. Now, tell me what Vea's thinking. It was a gamble, I admit. An opportunity I couldn't let slip away. You won't make me feel guilty about trying to find my daughter. So, where and when will Vea meet with me? Very well. We'll do this her way. Vea can be as stubborn as her mother sometimes. But tell my daughter that my patience won't last forever. Next time, I expect Vea to be with you. Or I might just let Captain Briven do this his way. Do as I command, and let them pass. Well... Those certainly aren't Ashlanders, not with those tails. This is... disturbing. I can't believe this! Why allow the Warclaws to run roughshod over the camp like this? What's House Redoran thinking? And what in the name of the Three have they done with the Ashlanders? My brother often visited this camp. Took me along a couple of times. It used to be such a vibrant place. So full of life. I know House Redoran wants to expand along the western coast, but I never expected they'd set the war claws loose like this. 
If Ulran was here, he'd never stand for the war clause invading the camp. He told me the Ashlanders were the same as you and I. Different beliefs don't necessarily make people bad. We need to see if we can find out what happened here. I really want to help, but Nario won't hear of it. We don't get our hands dirty unless there's a writ attached. She's so fond of reminding me. We'll hang around and wait for you to find something before we move in. Bea, I don't think this is a good idea. We're trying to keep you out of House Redwin hands, remember? You're not my parent, Nariu. I can take care of myself, even if the Mother of Blades doesn't think so. Damn it, Veya! You know I hate that title. If I'd realized how popular this camp was going to be with Outlanders, I would have moved the tribe ages ago. You don't appear to be one of the heretical invaders, but looks can be deceiving. What do you seek, stranger? Ah, Ulran the Exile. He disgraced his family and lost his status, but remained true to his heart. Ulran is here. He tried to stand against the Redorans, just as they detained me within this yurt. I assume they dragged him off to the mine, along with most of the tribe who refused to let those tribunal dogs walk all over us. Or should I say tribunal cats in this instance? Be wary. The mine will be as protected as the camp, maybe even more so. It's a small hole in the ground, but it served us well until the Redorans and their war claws arrived. Now they toss my people aside and lock the door. Warclaw Irgazar carries the key, but there is a spare in the supply yurt. Get the key to the mine from either the Warclaw's commander or the supply yurt, whichever suits your needs. Perhaps you'll find what you seek within Kudanot's depths. To keep the head and the body separate, as long as I'm here I can't offer my people hope or advice. And I certainly can't compel them to rebel against these invaders. I have no doubt. However, my place remains with my people, at least for now. The War Claws have treated me well so far. They believe I can make their tails fall off if I so choose. Who am I to dissuade such creatures from their beliefs? We're just going to burn them? Even the red... The captain called them traitors and savages. Said the good roasting was more than they deserved. Stay back. You don't need to see this. What happened here? Oh, gods. They murdered these poor Ashlanders. Oh, no. Oran! Oran! We can't... Please! You can't be dead. You just can't! Bea shouldn't have had to see this. Even I'm finding it hard to believe that the mercenaries would slaughter these Ashlanders for no reason. Not to mention the son of a house counselor. Doesn't make any sense. I suppose anything could happen in the heat of the moment. But to kill a Redron, even an exiled one, that's presumptuous even for the War Claws. I wonder if Eris knows about this. I'm not sure how Vea's going to get her answers now. I've seen these before. 
They use them in Eastmarch to record and send important messages. They're expensive and as rare as a sober Nord, but Auron was always attracted to the contrivances of other cultures. Shall we see what it has to say? If you're listening to my voice, know that my time is short, and what I have to say is important. Intruders! Brother, Warclaws, is that you? Everything that happened was a deliberate act to discredit me. I need to report the event so my sister can learn the truth about her brother. You have to understand, I don't share my house's hatred and distrust of Ashlanders. So, during my normal patrol, when I heard that Ashlanders had come to Balmera and were causing trouble, I was dubious to say the least. I arrived to find one of my soldiers arguing with the Ashlanders. He spat at them, called them savages. When one of the Ashlanders objected, my soldier drew his sword. Before I could intervene, my soldier's blade struck him down. I ordered the soldier to stand down, but he ignored me and stepped toward the second Ashlander. I killed my own soldier. I had to. Before I knew it, I was dragged before the Redoran Council and exiled. I never even got to say farewell to my sister. I believe I was set up for this fall, but I don't know by who. I came to this camp for shelter, but House Redoran's reach grows ever longer. Now Captain Briven's here. I'm going to talk to them, just in case I made this stone for my sister Vea. All run! Damn it! What am I supposed to do now? I agree with Ulran's assessment. Certainly sounds like someone led him into a situation guaranteed to make him fail. I can't believe he put this burden on Vea, though. What was Ulran thinking? I didn't say that. I'm just not sure how to proceed. We're entering dangerous waters here, going up against House Redoran. And we don't even have a writ to protect us. I'm going to take Vea and head back to our safe house in Balmora. They found our cave, but the abandoned basement is still secure. After that, I'm not sure. The Morog Tong has rules. If I break them, I'll have to deal with the consequences. We can't just kill with wild abandon. We follow a code. We only execute those whose names appear on sanctioned writs. If we kill respectable citizens without a writ, that's just murder. So, without proof and a proper writ, my hands are tied. You do that, but be careful. We're not sure who in the House Redren is involved, and I'd rather not see you wind up like these poor Ashlanders. Bea and I still need your help to get to the bottom of all of this. We'll see you in Balmara, hero. And so the Outlander returns, as we discussed in the swamp. I expected you to return with Vea, or present me with a time and place for us to meet. Tell me, Outlander, which is it to be? Complication? What kind of complication? I ordered my soldiers to stand down and let you do things your way. But instead of results, you bring me excuses. No. That's not possible. My son was banished, ordered to leave Vardenfell and never return. Why would he disobey me and go to those savages? Vea was with you, and you left her out there? By the three, everything is unraveling no matter how hard I try to maintain control. I need you to do something else for me if you would, Outlander. Tell my daughter, I'm sorry. Tell her she needs to stay away until I can calm things down. I don't want to see anything happen to her. Promise me. And take this. Consider it payment for your efforts thus far. If you'll excuse me, I need some time to consider everything you've told me. Once I determine the best way to proceed, I'll contact you. In the meantime, make sure Vea stays away from Balmora and House Redoran. It was never meant to be an attack. I sent Captain Briven to clear land that already belonged to House Redoran. 
The Ashlanders were given an opportunity to depart. The situation didn't have to turn violent. Those damn savages should have just left. House Redoran has been slowly expanding in that direction for years. We claimed that area almost a year ago, but we were forced to temporarily abandon it when a massive ash storm hit. Before we could return, the Ashlanders moved in. Redoran depends on that land for hunting and resources. The Ashlanders are like a plague of insects. They sweep into an area, take everything, and move on. We couldn't allow them to do that here. So, I sent Captain Briven to convince them otherwise. The captain serves House Redoran with honor and dedication. He's out doing his job. If Briven had anything to do with my son's death, he would have reported it to me. He'd have no reason to keep such news from me and the other counselors. I'll speak to Briven when he returns. But understand, the captain operated under my orders. He's an exemplary soldier and an upstanding member of the house. Like me, everything he does is for the betterment of House Redoran. Is what you said about my son true? Ulran is... dead? Ulran was good at getting himself into trouble, but I... I never thought it would come to this. Please, Outlander, don't let the same thing happen to my daughter. I don't attend council meetings, so I wasn't there when they debated the fate of my son. But my husband assured me the proceedings were fair. Ulran received the punishment he deserved. At least that's what he told me at the time. I can't believe that my son did anything that required him to die. House honor be damned! I just want my children back home, safe and sound. My husband and the house can go to oblivion. All I care about right now is my children. They killed my son because he did what he believed was right. Now my poor Vea is in danger. Eris can stand by the house, but he might have to do so alone. You agreed to work for my husband, Counselor Eris, to find our daughter Vea. You found Vea and kept her safe from the Warclaw's mercenary band. But in doing so, you discovered that they killed my son, Ulran, when they attacked an Ashlander camp. My daughter has joined the Morag Tong. She asked you to help find out what happened to her brother. It seems Captain Briven may have been involved in Ulran's death. Now my husband has asked you to keep Vea away until he can sort out what happened. <laughs>